we have the opposite of ones is multiplications of eight. Yet the family number groups are always separated by thirds. One, two, three is the next blue one. One, two, three is the next blue one after that one. They're always separated by thirds. This is a quality of numbers, a fundamental physical property characteristic of numbers. And the colors went to their, op their complement, didn't they? Um, you flipped them, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. must have. Exactly right, Charlie. But it's a duality complement, Charlie, because there's two separate dimensions. Right. The yellow is a different dimension, right. but yeah. the red and blue are the yeah. same dimension. The yellow stays yellow, right, doesn't it? Yeah. Did the yellow it stay did. yellow? It did stay yellow. Yeah. Okay. But the eight was, was a red on the other They're side. They're all three, three, three. three. Did you Always see that? three, three, three. Right. Right. Oh. right. Right. Okay. So now let's, let's do multiples of 2. Would you put a 2 where the 8 is and then put a 4? So you're just going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Yeah. Charlie's a, a couple of leagues ahead of us right now because what he's modeling is dimension. So why are you putting the 2 there? Because we, I just went, instead of multiples of 1, now I want to do multiples of 2. I just want to do... So you're, you're starting over again. Starting over again. So, so, so we're going to oh, start Just to prove two, the point that 3's are still in the same And then spot. you're going to put 4 next right here. Do you want me to do yeah, that? two, four. Yeah. <laughs> Moving two, too fast four, for you. Eight, and then eight times eight. <laughs> well, Charlie will call it for you. Go ahead. Charlie, tell her what's next. Okay, two, four, then eight comes next. Yeah. Judy, you can be Charlie's assistant. Eight, eight. Three, He's got me. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, we, uh, we're not doubling. We're not, we're multiple of the two. Okay. Two, you're, you're, four, six, eight. You, you, I love to see someone else do my same mistake that I always do because I'm so deep into it. Yeah. Well, so 10 would be 1, and 5, yeah, 7, 9, would be one. And then 12 would be 3, and okay. 14. Family number groups are still the same. Now remember, I said there's no redundancy, and there's never, nothing's omitted. But your, but your building blocks are those three family number groups. You can't invent a num another number group. Okay. So we're starting with, yeah. A number cannot be created or destroyed, just as we used to say in Einstein's law, that the energy, what was the saying? Matter? Matter cannot can be created. Matter cannot, can, e can either be created or destroyed. Well, it turns out the same thing for numbers, too. There's no new numbers creatable. It's really heavy duty because, yeah, yeah. hmm? It's, it's very heavy duty. Mm -hmm. It's not what you do, it's not no, that's a, that's a, a quick, that is a real information compression con right. condensation, but you're absolutely right. Yeah. So no matter where you go, yeah. there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw that movie, too, but I, I think I, I missed something. I don't know. That was the road warrior. No, that was that was, wasn't that the... But, but the saying, that, was that was an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. It was, it was Mel Gibson and Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Comparative religion, I mean, basically it's, it's the three, it's the tribes, but how it feels. Yeah. What's that? The tribe, the, the power of threes. The tribe? The tri, T R I. She tri could say triune, she could say trinity, yeah, yeah, yeah. she could say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, okay. But what we're looking at is a polar opposite, and a polar complement always equals 9. See how 8 and 1 make 9, 7 and 2 make 9? Okay, this is just the polar property we're learning. Okay? Um, that's, and all we've set, learned is that they're separated by 3. So let's go again now. We know that the polar opposite of 2 is 7. So let, because 7 is the last number before 9. So let's turn the cards over. Complement of, of 2 is 7. Oh, no. <laughs> Seven, six, five, three, one, eight, six, four, two, nine. They're opposite each other on the red. Yeah. Oh, look, Charlie, they're pink. I did make them a different color. They probably should have. Oh, it's because I wanted to distinguish between three and six. That there's a positive and a negative three and six. It gets pretty more confusing. I better not try and say it verbally. So is that correct that you did change that for your... I, it's correct that there's a negative and positive. God knows I can't even know. So there'll be six now. It, six, six, six. I just know how it works. I can't say I can't say on those cards how it's correct. I only know it in the complicated... I get, it's very hard for me to do it in a simple fashion. The complicated, what you're about to go to, I can tell you what's correct. The easy stuff is hard for me because it's too easy and the universe is more complex. So this, this complement is always six, six, seven. I wouldn't call it a complement. Um, 
but it's a but it. Six six six. They're now six six six. What? What's, the other, what's the other side of three? Is that a three on the other They're adding these up and then add those two numerals. Wait, well, what's on the other side of this three again? Okay, so that that's better. No, it's always, essentially what it is, is I'm not sure what you mean. Everything okay, is still in thirds, but what happens is the six occurs automatically. Um, what were you saying? Uh, just you add seven, five, and three. That's six. Well, 15 is 6, and then 1 and 8 is 9, so 15, that's 6, and 6, 9, that's 6. Oh, so you take triplets, and they add up Like the six. last time, everything was See? always 3, 3, 3, right, 5, 3. And threes. you flipped it over, well, really? No, there's always going to be a, no, a 3, were. a 6, and a 9, and eight. which ones no, are you adding together? She's saying that that triplet this, right there adds up to 6. Oh. And that that's triplet adds oh, up to sure. 6. Oh, sure. She's working on it. When it was turned over, it was adding up to 3. 3, 3, 3, every time. It's not even in the curriculum. She's working in things that are apparent, that have universal truths and axioms, and she's working. There's, she's now. She's working on a, on aspects and facets of this stuff that so are, that I've never even gotten yeah. to. Well, I teach little kids, and little kids think that way. Yeah. They've assumed it. Mm -hmm. Especially this younger generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genius. The little kids really. Uh, and it all has meaning. I haven't even gotten to that, and it helps explain this. It helps that they don't have other things, you know, cluttering and, and obscuring their That's thought. why we need you to be a, a new example for teaching math for yeah. the next generation, because <laughs> the way you yeah. learn math is the way you learn, like, the structure of reality in a lot of ways. I mean, you learn, just like the calendar systems that we have, the calendar being off affects every other part of our civilization, so just like our, you know, the math. Okay, so um, we saw family number groups. Um, are always the same in the different groups. Let's see. I don't know which board to go to next. Um, we covered family number groups. We, found, caught, we saw the multiplication that numbers actually did have a mirroring in the geometry. Um, we were looking at the boundary conditions. She said one on the yin and yang. So let's see what we can do with um, with what we've learned so far. So we know the quality of every number, so we know the, the quality of this number is a mirror of that number quality. We know this quality is a mirror of that. So we got one quality, two qualities, three qualities, four qualities, five qualities, six qualities, right? Well, by the, fam by the fact of that they're different from one another. Like this number, there's no other number that goes unique. up one, two, three, four. It's unique. Oh, so you're you're multiples of one. Multiples oh, of one is okay. unique. So you're saying that's a, that's a clustering of a group, a family group. Yeah. Okay. Well, that whole thing is a clustering of a family group, right? It gives right. a unique right. quality. Right. Right. Exactly right. right. And then that has a different uh, group to it. So exactly right. That's why it is right. number two. Right. right. Exactly. That's why it has right. that number. It's, that's it's why essentially the basis for a dimensionality of sorts. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. When Charlie clicks on something, it's because he's, he's dimensionalized it. I mean, it's like... <laughs> it's really good. So we, 2 has a quality, and 4 has a quality, and 8 has a quality. It's really a trip that when you're at the lowest bottom, you go to the top is where you go next. Because this is a coil. This, our decimal system is a coil. And this is the field. And this is the secret of electromagnetism. Because that's why I'm getting more energy. And this is going to replace our, all our petroleum products, everything. This is Yay. the legend for it. Yay. <laughs> so, seven's a quality and five's a quality. Okay? Three and six, the quality was that they always oscillate back and forth. Of course, the multiples would be three, six, nine, three, six, nine, or six, three, nine, six, three, nine. It says it right here in multiples. And we have the nine. Nine never changes its quality because zero times anything is always nothing. It's the absent of quality, and nine's complete quality. It's whole. And there it is. So it's always nine. And what's multiple two nines is 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81. It always equals itself nine. It's the never changing number nine. Perfect. Complete. So it's compressible, so that's why it'll work in the future, like computers. I'm going to just 
let your Because the big numbers down. that are non-compressible are what they're looking for. That's not what they really should be looking for. There is no such thing as a non-repeating uh, endless decimal. That's why I solved pi, which That's we're not going to try and touch. Right. But I found the answer to pi. I know what it is, and it's a whole number. But we're not going to touch that at this moment. Okay. You can keep on thinking. I just want to say a few more cute things about 9. Okay. Let's first look at a 6. A 6 is a hexagon, 6-sided. A triangle is the 3. But as we know, in reality, the triangle doesn't connect except at the vertex, the point. And the 9, this is very important, and it's not by accident, is a perfect diamond. See how this makes a diamond? Should have been a bit, little bit better, a little bit more perfect. But it is the perfect diamond. Is the camera on? I guess everybody does give their permission. I guess this is a release. You give your permission to be... This is a verbal written in, in, in video. In, what's the video made up? Written in, uh, in acetate. That you don't mind having your... Raise your hands or something. Your being duplicated. And disseminated and circulated mm -hmm. to help educate and teach people on this topic. So thank you very much for allowing and educating people and sharing your insights with the world. Um, okay. Um, Charlie has a question, but before Charlie does it, I want to finish just one point all over again. Okay. The number nine never changes. There's not another number that doesn't change. Okay, only number nine can do that. Zero is nothing. Zero times anything is nothing. And by the way, zero is not a member of a multiplication series. That's why after nine is not a zero. The zero is the vortex. And this is making a vortex. Okay. Um, I'll come to that vortex after I answer Charlie's question. So multiples of two, there's not another thing that does it like it. You can't... And the, and if you had a multiplic if you had a base 12, you would still be using um, the one and the two and three again because it's after nine, and so you would be duplicating at least as a phantom, as a mirror, uh, the eight, seven, and six. In other words, you would be actually doing a mirror imaging, like in Kirlian photography, of um, the leaves right there. Okay, you know, familiar in Kirlian photography, you have an appendage. Cut off the finger, still shows a show, put it on a photographic motion in your hand, you still see that finger, it's a phantom, a ghosting image. Do you remember that? It's really in Kirlian photography? Yeah, it's called Kirlian photography. It's still there? The oh, you, you didn't know that? No, I didn't know it was still there. It's a trip! <laughs> How's that work? Um, it's so well known now. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's so well known now. Oh. Um, <laughs> what, hap secret. <laughs> what happened is, is your bioelectric field doesn't know it was cut off. Okay, so your bioelectric field, all, everything else is still projecting the energy out and around it. And you can have a person missing a whole finger, put his hand on photographic emotion, and he's got all his fingers. Well, Charlie, you've seen that? Well, not only that, the people still feel that. Yeah, yeah. Their, grandfather their limbs, felt his their finger limbs are still there, even when they've been amputated. And have yeah. been, the, the aura is still there, mm -hmm. so the... Uh, but still, that's subjective by them. In this case, I'm right. saying it's film emulsion, right. so we can, can actually see it. See that. Right. You, and yeah, you've you seen it. You can also see it. Um, yeah, I've seen it in, in photographs. Exactly. That, uh, in psychic discoveries behind me. There's someone here that does that. So it was all done in Russia. Right. Right. Huh? Started. Someone here that does that. Yeah, Pat Howard. Pat Howard does it's that. Yeah. She lives up on Olinda Road. Yeah. yeah. yeah she did that on me, actually. Except yeah. you got all your fingers. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> but she still, she, she's able to read those. Uh, yeah, well, she can tell you what's wrong with you. And, and she's you. pretty good at it, too. Yeah. And then she does color ones. She does black and white ones, and then she does the color ones. They're pretty, uh, pretty neat. So what about increasing the bioelectric frequency where the missing finger is being able to make a finger grow back? Is that We're getting to that. Yeah. Good question. Well, you can, they can do that at, at certain stages of, you know, children. If a child loses his or her finger, you know, from like about the first digit on, I heard, it will grow back. In fact, I have a board right there showing the fingers. 